Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is a long time coming, and that is my review of the Goat Boxco Hub 70 cooler. This thing is an amazing cooler, it really is. Now before we get into it, my relationship with Goat Box Co. is that uh, they did send this to me. They sent this to me a number of months ago. I've been using it throughout the summer and now we're into fall and so I thought I've pretty much put it through all the paces it could possibly go through and the heat and everything else out here in the Arizona desert. It's time to make my final review for it. Um, the fact that I was given this is not going to affect my review if you guys know my reviews this is of course an honest review from me and what I think about the boat goat box co hub 70 when I say hub 70 there is a hub 50 uh, it is a considerably smaller cooler but it still has many of the same features that this cooler has so a few specs really quickly it is a 70 quart cooler uh, it is a rotomodal design it is made here in the usa and goat box co is a usa company i've talked to them on the phone and so on and uh, great people and i happen to know that they were seeking absolute perfection when it comes to making this cooler uh, there was a number of times I was supposed to get sent the cooler and it got pushed back and pushed back because the owner just wasn't happy with the product that he was getting from various vendors and various roto molding companies and things like that. So I do know that there was a lot of time and effort put into the making of this cooler uh, to make it the best that it possibly could be. Now with this cooler and the Hub 50, you're getting more than just a high performance commercial grade cooler. Uh, you're getting a complete storage system as well, which is one of the things that separates this from some of the other uh, big name roto molded cooler companies. And as you can see, this has some of the, what they call the cans built into it on all four corners. Uh, you can get different kits for each can or you can get it empty now before we get into the cans some of the outside here as you can see this thing's pretty dirty right now uh, it has lived in the back of my with the exception of two weeks it has lived in the back of my truck right here you guys have seen it in the background of many videos and pictures and things like that uh, it has lived in the back of my truck uh, even when I didn't have the top on it uh, since this summer and all the way through today um, it's dirty, it's filthy, I've beat the hell out of it. In fact, uh, through throwing some uh, target stands and stuff, I did actually break one of the handles of these cans. Uh, I can't blame it because I'm pretty rough on stuff. But uh, there's been no cracks, no problems, nothing's dry rotted. Uh, and uh, as you may know, the Arizona sun has a tendency to play hell on things like rubber and cloth and things like that so it has held up spectacularly before we get into the cans some of the outside appearance here uh, you can see these two these two turrets sticking out the side there's four of them uh, that gives it a nice stable x brace or x base design uh, it doesn't tip it doesn't move it doesn't anything like that uh, and the feet on it The feet on it are rubber, like a rubber material, and they don't slide at all on the metal of my bed. Now, as you can see on the bottom here, there is drain holes on these turrets in case it get water in it, but the cans themselves are tucked up into the lid, so the cans are pretty waterproof, uh, not submersible, but as far as raining or water coming down on it or spilling something on it whatever's inside there isn't going to get wet it's got the two rubber two rubber clasps here that lock the lid the lid as you can see in fact if you see this water on it i just emptied it for this video this thing is full by the way 
most of the time. There's some goat branding here, a nice rubber seal around the edge, proudly made in the USA right here. Now, as you would expect for a 70 quart cooler, it is quite large on the inside. You can fit a bunch of stuff in here and it stays cold for what seems like forever. So the wall thickness and the lid thickness is both about two inches, a nice thick uh, insulated area with what they call their freeze frame insulation. And I have had ice last at its worst when it was well over 100 degrees, about three to four days. And at its best, when it cooled off a little bit, I've had ice floating in here uh, up to five, six days. Uh, a block of ice, which I do often, like just a block of ice from like Circle K, I've had last a week. Now a little bit about how I use this. Uh, I put basically one bag of ice in here a week, uh, sometimes maybe a little bit more than that, but I essentially keep one bag of ice in here a week. And while it does melt throughout the week, uh, I can physically feel how cold this is right now, even though there was only water left in it. Um, the last time I put ice in it was last weekend, today being Saturday. Um, the last time I put ice in it was last weekend, and the inside of this thing is still frigid cold. I can feel it on my hand. Now it does have, as you can see here, locking points in case you wanted to padlock it, and these are very secure. There's a removable net on the front. It is hooked with these uh, spring-loaded hooks and some snaps. I generally keep just random things in here. I have duct tape and electrical tape in it right now. They, they sort of live there. I'll throw some gloves in there or paper towels, things like that, whatever I need to just throw into there really quickly. On the sides, each side has a grab handle built into the body of it and it also has this marine grade rope with a plastic handle for you to lift it in this fashion as well. There is a drain here that has two holes in it. Still some water coming out. But there is a drain here that seals up very nicely. You can kind of see the side view of it and where these cans are. In the back, there's two rubber bumpers here. Uh, and then the hinge is a solid rod that goes all the way through the body of the cooler. Now empty. These cans being full, we're not going to get into them yet, but, the, but essentially empty other than these cans. It's a, it's a hefty boy. It's a, it's a chunky boy. Um, when it's completely full of ice and drinks, you may or may not want somebody else there with you to help you get it out of the bed of your truck or whatever you're hauling it in. But um, if you're like me and it just lives in the back of your truck, you don't ever have to move it. And uh, Again, it doesn't slide all over the place like a plastic bottom cooler would. Now it also has these tie down strap areas across the lid. So if you have it on a trailer or something like that, and you want to put a ratchet strap over it, the ratchet strap will sit in those grooves. Um, it doesn't slide to begin with, but make it even more secure. Now for these cans, uh, you can get a variety of kits for each of these cans. This one came with three different kits and an empty can, but you can get anywhere from a battery booster charger. In one of the cans you can get, this has first aid, hygiene, and nutrition, which we'll show you in a second. You can get all kinds of stuff or you can get it with empty cans and fill the cans with whatever you want. So in the nutrition can, in the nutrition can, it comes with that spork long, long spork and a dry bag of sorts here with a clasp on it unroll it see if i can get into it and i've eaten a couple of things out of here so far but what's left in here is ready wise food pasta alfredo and teriyaki rice chicken so that is in the That's in the nutrition can. In the first aid can, there's a plastic bag that I put down in there, but I don't think I have anything in. Oh yeah, 
there's some emodium in there. But in the first aid can, by the way, it is supplied, the first aid stuff is supplied by my medic. And uh, I really like my medic. My medic is also an affiliate. I'm an affiliate of mymedic.com, uh, so you can check them out as well. There's all kinds of headache, allergy, cold and flu, upset stomach, CPR. Minor burns, hiker medical kit, and a first aid survival book. Oh, and it also has a CPR shield. Back here in the hygiene, this is the one that I, I think I busted it, throwing um, like wood, the wooden legs for my uh, target stands in there, is how I cracked that off there. But otherwise, it's been fine. This is another dry bag type thing. This is the hygiene one. And of course you can go to the website that I'll list below to get, of course you can go to the website that I'll have listed below to get a better feel of everything that they carry. This has a ton of stuff in it. Trash bags, a mesh bag, for unmentionables and things that are dirty. This is a towel, wilderness wipes, the massive wet wipe, has two of those, some soap and hand cleaning gel. This is just absolutely full of good stuff. Again, this one, the power one, which they're all labeled on top here, uh, the power one was empty when I got it. I just keep some bags in there for trash and things like that. But this would normally have something like a uh, battery booster in it, a uh, car starter battery booster. Now one of the things about the Goat Box Co system, just the whole system in general, whether you get the Hub 70 or the Hub 50, you can also get the rack. And the rack has a number of cans that you can use in storage. You have on a shelf in your garage or storage room, and then you can have individual cans packed, ready to go, um, and just flop them in and out, swap them in and out as you see fit. So you can have different hunting supplies in one, you can have medical in another, you have your nutrition in another, you have your uh, you have your power supply in, an, in another one. You can have just a number of things. If you want to stuff one full of toilet paper, you can do that. And all you have to do is swap them in and out and you're ready to go. So from a camping aspect, this will keep uh, anything you want as cold as you want for pretty much as long as you are out for your average camping trip. From a prepping standpoint, uh, this is something that you can load up and keep things cold for a very long time uh, in place of your refrigerator during a power outage or something like that. Uh, from a, a work standpoint, this is something that's great for job sites. This is something great for hunting trips. This is, if you, if you, this is great for your ranch truck if that's something that uh, you're out and you need not just tools but the cooler uh, it's just great for just about any application you would need a cooler for and the storage and the storage capacity of this thing is really what sets this apart from other high-end coolers price price right now for the holidays it's a hundred dollars off as of the recording of this video which means it's $3.99 it's normally $4.99 which puts it not just in the same performance or better performance category as some of the high-end coolers out there, uh, but you get all the extra storage and the extra things, these extra cans and stuff like that with it uh, for the same price. So I'll tell you what, this is the best cooler that I've ever had, uh, and it's probably the best cooler I'll ever have. I've been super impressed with this. Again, I've been using it in the well over 100 degree Arizona desert. It lives in the back of my truck. It's still getting into the 80s and 90s right now. Uh, I don't foresee any issues with this. It's durable. I beat it up. I stand on it. I, like I said, I the, the things that are in the back of my truck, target stands, metal, and things like that, get slammed up against it all the time. It's not any worse for wear. Um, 
I really couldn't ask for a better cooler. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Check out Goat Box Co. again, links below. Leave a comment down below, tell me what you think of it. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe, and that notification bell if you wanna get more videos from me. If you wanna support the channel, there's tons of ways to do that. Uh, affiliate links is one way, you can find a link for that down below, and Patreon, that's probably the easiest way to support my channel, plus you get some perks in the process, so check that out. Thanks for watching everybody, we'll talk to you later.